change his practices. He will be eco-friendly. He will ensure that his activities conform with the best practices as it suits the environment. Queen Mujaji, the Queen of Restoration. And because Queen Mujaji had responded to them, it gave rise to a new era, the eco culture era, the era where everything must conform with the environment. Again, you can see regeneration. You can see little, little leaves budding again, sprouting again. Our dry trees are budding again. There is life emerging. Life is emerging again. This is what we support when we say plant a tree. One tree, one tree. Everybody is planting a tree. Africa is planting a tree again. Africa is leading that new vanguard to the new world where everything is clean and green. Gentlemen, when all of us in Africa plant one tree, one tree, which is what Africa is doing with very little money, we are leading the vanguard of changing our environment again. Little wonder why the governor of Cross River State, Senator Professor Ayade, is leading the vanguard for cleaning the environment again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new paradigm.
we must really sustain our environment and our health, then we must consider the culture of reuse, where everything is used again. You can see they are consumed. These ones are made of newspaper. The newspaper that you throw away is something that you can wear. the plastic spoons from the fast food, you can use them again. Let us practice the culture of reuse. Do you know that even your cracked CDs and your broken glasses can become something useful again? Ladies and gentlemen, if we must conform, we must learn to reuse. Nothing is truly a waste. Ladies and gentlemen, these are plastic bottles, plastic bottles, plastic covers, they have come to be reused again. If, if we must make progress, if we must sustain paradise, then we must start to preach the gospel of eco-education. We must tell people what to do and not to do. Environmental best practices. Eco-education. Let the people know. Do you know, ladies and, your excellency, ladies and gentlemen, that even the houses that we build, we do not have to pull down the whole forest because we want to have a few mansions. Echo architecture. We can build houses that are environmentally friendly. Ladies and gentlemen, echo architecture. These are the environmentally friendly houses. You can see the architects. These are the architects. They are all dressed for sight. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, even the food that we eat, even the very food that you eat must be eco, environmentally friendly. We do not have to destroy the entire forest. We do not have to destroy paradise. This is the food that you find in the new world. Fresh food. When we preserve the earth, the earth gives us back in bountiful, bountiful harvest. So when we have built our houses to conform with environmental best practices and we are eating the best food in the new world, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we think about is how we look. We introduce to you Echo Fashion. Gentlemen, this was how it was in the Garden of Eden. It started with leaves. But today, in the new world, leaves can do wonderful, wonderful things. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, shelter, food, clothing, those three are the basic needs of man and all have been accommodated in the new arrangement if only man will listen and understand that all is not lost when you do the right thing Later, earlier on you had seen 